the angel told her, hey, you are so important for me. Amen. God tells you this morning, you are important. You think that you are nothing. You think that nobody cares for you. You think that nobody is, uh, you know, doing anything for you. You are forsaken. You are rejected. You are abused. You are gone with all the land. But the Lord is saying, hey, you are important to me. I don't know who is listening this word this morning. You are important to God. God has got a plan and a purpose for you. God is declaring upon your life that you need it by God. And it's not you searching God. It's God who is searching for you this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. The angel told Hagar, you are important to me. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't know whether you are important to Abraham or not. I don't know whether you are important to Sarai or not. I don't know whether you are important to so many people around you or not. I don't know, but I know. I'll tell you one thing. You are important for God and God is going to do something powerful out of your life. You are important. Church, you are important in the sight of God. Brothers, you are important in the sight of God. Sisters, you are important in the sight of God. Because God has chosen it. It is not you have chosen God. It's God has coming to you. It is not you come to God. Amen. Glory be to God. And for everybody, she was invisible. But for God, she is visible. Amen. Hallelujah. Am I reaching you, my people? And the Bible tells me how much more if God can find Hala in that situation, how much more God can find you when you are in the house of God. Amen. Hallelujah. A person who doesn't know anything, a person who is neglected and, you know, completely out of bounds, if God can see her. Being the servant of God, being the child of God, being the you know body of Christ, how much God can find you, amen? amen. Come on, church. You're carrying the destiny of God, you're carrying the plans and the purpose of God. Because Jeremiah 29 11 said, I have the plans and purpose for you, plans to prosper you, not to harm you. Can you come and come in agreement with the Lord and say, Lord, I want to be in the plans, amen. Hallelujah. And she was invisible for everybody. But for God, she is visible. I don't know how people are considering you today. I don't know what circumstances you are in today. I don't know like Haga. You must be totally forsaken, rejected, abused, and taken for granted and called by every name. But to you, the Lord is saying this morning, God loves you. You are important to God in the midst of all your problems. God needs you. God sees you. God visits you. God touches you. And God will reveal His plans unto you, provided you step into the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. People of God. And God tells us not only that you are important to me, not only that I make you understand that I know your name. I know your name. Oh God, I've spoken so many times on the name, the name, name, name is so powerful in the sight of God. Amen? Names change destinies. There's so many places God changed the name. Jacob! You're no more called Jacob. You're called Israel. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Saul. You're no more called Saul. You'll be called Paul. A name has got a destiny. A name has got a meaning. A name has got some power. A name has got something to do with the design of God. Amen. Amen. And everybody called. If you read Genesis chapter 16 and uh, later on. And everybody called a slave girl. She's a slave girl of Abraham. She's a slave girl of Sarai. But when God referred her, God referred her. How God? Oh my God. Am I reaching you? People can call you by names. People can neglect you. People can reject you. People can abuse you. People can constrain you. They are nothing and they can give you every name. But I tell you, in the name of Jesus this morning, my God calls you by your name. When God knows your name, 
God always allows a position to your name. Amen. Hallelujah. Let little deeper teachings. Name always goes with the position and the power. Amen. Hallelujah. King is the name, right? We call king. King has got some position to go with it. Amen. Hallelujah. We say a name we call, say, King Herod. Our King Solomon, our King David. When you add something to that, that adds power to that. Amen. Hallelujah. God never seen David as David. God has seen as King David. Amen. Hallelujah. Am I reaching you? When God calls you by name, He always attach a position to your name. Amen. Glory be to God. 